Hello everyone, my name is Manny, and today I have another time lapse video for you. A while ago, like about two years ago, it was one of my earlier videos, I made a time lapse video of a pair of Apple AirPods, AirPods Max, and so far it's got like 14, 15,000 views, and it is a, the most viewed video on my channel. So I decided to make another time lapse video. I'm not sure why you guys like it, or you like it, to each their own. So I decided to make a time lapse video of a Google Pixel phone, um, or actually two, on how to render a Google Pixel phone on Photoshop. So let's uh, let's start. So as you, you can see, I start with using the pen tool. I uh, design and make the more prominent shapes of the phone or whatever the object is that I'm trying to render. Uh, I, I, I go very just like Illustrator or SolidWorks. Uh, I turn them into selections and then I use the main color or the main body's color on those selections. Uh, then I go over the holes. I actually do the holes once and then I just copy paste them. The next thing I do, I actually go to the cameras and I use the circle selection tool to make circles and then I use Control T to uh, adjust it to adjust the sizing and then I connect them together with the selection tool. Uh, to make that black shape over there, but I do the same thing with uh, the flash. Uh, so I go back to my pen tool. As you can see, I do the Google logo. The pen tool is easier because you can adjust it uh, very easily. In my last video, you know, from two years ago, I don't actually use the pen tool as much, but here I have learned my lessons over the years and I, I am more uh, comfortable with the pen tool. So that's, that's why I'm using the pen tool as much. And then I go over all the uh, different colors, different sh shadows, you know, highlights, uh, every little detail, every little color differentiator. This picture specifically doesn't have that many color, different, like different light sources and different color changes. Like the one uh, from like two years ago, the AirPods Max, that one had like a lot of parts. This one, it's just a bunch of lines. Uh, so it's, it's very much simpler. And as you can see, I, I'm, I'm doing these, these, these things. I'm like adding these colors and I'm like to myself when I was doing that, I was like, Hey, this, this actually kind of looks cool. Maybe I should just like, keep it as is. But then I was like, no, I'm gonna make it uh, more fully realistic. Uh, so I just um, continued, uh, you know, doing what I was doing, just adding the colors, uh, the different shapes, the different shadows, and then I start uh, using the Gaussian board tool. So all the different like lights, you want to uh, basically blend them together. So you just go to the Gaussian Blur tool and you play with it. You see uh, like what intensity of Gaussian Blur tool is actually uh, useful for your uh, for your rendering, uh, and you just you know just experiment with it. You play with it, and as you can see, I forgot to add that little part to that black fold, and I do that separately on like a separate layer. Uh, I did forget like to add a bunch of different uh, uh, highlights and shades. I, I keep adding those those shades. And uh, as you can see, when you do add those shades, you can actually use the main body. You can control, select your main layer and then just like delete the rest of the, uh, the rest of the, the, the paint 
sheets or whatever that you end up using. So just like have that crisp line. So again, I'm just like looking for more details here. I do some erasing uh, to add that line. I do change my brush, uh, whatever, whatever. I add some more sh sh shade. Um, and this video took about like an hour, 40 minutes. So this is like 1000% uh, sped up. Obviously for viewers comfort. And I go ahead and I just like delete everything else. And I go to Google, you know, I get uh, the, the, uh, the logos. I try to just play with it a little bit. Nothing comes up good. And then I find out that, you know, the, the big G and uh, that's about it.